Hi, my name is Chris Callum and I'm a product manager at IMT Medical. Today, I would like to introduce you into the alarming of Bella Vista, how to deal with alarms and how to set them up. It all starts at the start screen from Bella Vista, which we're going to look at now in more detail. When we set up a new patient, via its height and gender, this not only sets the ventilation settings, but it also sets all the alarms. So by hitting OK here, I receive ventilation settings and I get preliminary alarm settings. So I cannot forget to set my alarms. I just turn down the oxygen and yeah, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm happy with that and start ventilation. So let's see if we receive any alarms. This is very normal that when we start with default alarm settings and default ventilation settings for a certain patient, it's very normal to receive alarms because each patient is individual and so is my test line. The alarm message will be displayed in the upper left corner where I can also click on it to silence it. So I can silence the alarm message. I can also see here on the alarm settings icon has become red and has, is indicating one alarm. I also see that the tidal volume alarm is the one which is kicking. It says tidal volume high and I see that also in the monitoring. I can now click on the monitoring value and I arrive directly at the alarm settings panel and I can see here yes it's a tidal volume alarm which is affected it's the upper limit this is the green zone this is a safe zone and I also receive a minute volume alarm which is a second priority or low priority priority alarm and so I want to adjust both of them I want to set the upper limit above the current value so here we see the current value 1160 milliliters tidal volume so I want to be somewhat above that range alternatively I could also adjust my inspiratory pressure or my tidal volume settings which would bring this one down so I always have two possibilities either change the settings or change the alarm limit for the sake of the moment I will adjust the alarm settings let me leave this for a moment to just show you another function which is convenient in one side and a little dangerous on the other and it's called the auto set auto set adjusts all my alarm limits around the current value so if I have a current minute volume of 1.30 of 13.9 liters per minute then AutoSet will go and set the alarm limits above and below that limit. Let's see what happens. And it will do it with all the alarm limits. AutoSet, it gives me a warning, all alarm limits will be reset. I confirm that. And I see that all the alarm limits are now around the white line. The white line is the current value. Now, some of these alarm limits are really narrow and AutoSet also compromises alarm limits which may have been carefully set for a patient. So if the, if the caregiver carefully sets alarm limits for a certain patient and then the nurse comes and hits AutoSet because it's so quick and so convenient, this can be very dangerous. We also see down here, we see optional alarms which is um, pulse, SpO2. These two come from the optional pulse oximeter. And we see capnography alarms, inspired CO2 and entitled CO2 for which I can set alarm limits when the sensors are connected. There is a convenient function which helps me to, re to avoid alarms. When I increase, for instance, inspiratory pressure, I go from 15 to 20, 
this automatically also increases my alarm setting. So this has now been increased to 29. So it's automatically been increased to, in order not so we don't run into an alarm. This is a very user-friendly way. We call it auto-adjust. So this brings me to the end of alarming. It's very simple. Maybe one thing I would still want to show you is the alarm uh, log. The third page here on the alarm setting is an alarm log, and it is 2,000 alarms long. So what we see here is we see the two alarms we just had, minute volume high, and tidal volume high, and before that, the ventilator was in standby. And before that, we had yet other uh, alarms. So here, completely all alarms, a list of 2,000 alarms long, is accessible. Now this brings me to the end, and I hope you have enjoyed the small tour through Bella Vista Alarming. I say thank you, and I hope you have a lot of fun with Bella Vista, and stay tuned. Thank you very much.